Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Good evening. Can, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you? I'm doing fine. I just here waiting. Okay, how was your day today? It was a busy day, a lot of work, but I think it was productive. A productive yes, day. Oh, okay. Well, then that's good. That's positive. Yes, it's positive. All right. What about you, Alex? How was your day today? Really busy. I'm sorry? Hi, good evening. My day was really busy. Why? What did you do? A lot of Receiving classes, doing homework, preparing for projects, tests, things like that. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Hello? Okay, I, I think we lost connection with Alex. Hi. Hi, so I'm sorry, what, what were you telling me? Will you hear me better than now? Yes, I can hear much better. Okay. No, I was telling you that it was a really busy day because I was doing a lot of things, academic activities, preparing for tests, performances, things like that. You study in the university, you study English, correct? Yes. Okay. And which university do you study? University of Salvador. Okay. And everything is online right now. Excuse me. Everything is online, the, the classes in the university? Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Now everything is online. We have to present. And um, the phone work, you'll see we're traveling. Last ones. Okay. And, um, when do you plan to return in the university to return to the to the academy? we don't know to the university. possibly maybe the next year but nobody's sure about it okay okay where is everybody today yeah how about you everywhere? Are you working from home yet or you are? Still. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm still working from home. I'm, I'm still working from home. And um, it's going to be for a, for a while now. There's Gio. What's up, Gio? Hey, hi, teacher. How you doing? I'm all right. Hey, Gio, today I was watching YouTube and I remembered to go into... <laughs> no. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I, I saw some sick things, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> Were you... What was, was that your group? The ones that are painted like 
kiss, kind of. Carp paint. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. That was cool, man. <laughs> man, it was in the 98. Yeah, I saw that show and then. And after. And then that's when you set fire to the crosses. Yeah, I'm I, I'm the one with no shirt. <laughs> oh, you have like a you have like a Marilyn Manson type of vibe <laughs> concert. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. In Finastras, you could do anything. Huh? They would let you do anything. Yeah, we were the first ones to to do that in in that place in that time too. The, to set fire to the crosses? Yeah. <laughs> oh, in the, in the crosses upside down, right? Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> I was, whoa. That was interesting. <clears throat> what do your parents say? Do they know? <laughs> mm, no, I don't think so. They just imagine that you're in a rock band. Yeah, they, they, they already know that. that mm -hmm. I, I played in a metal band. Hi, Rosanna. Oh, and, okay. And they, were, and they know that the music I play was very heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Hold on. Hi, Ingrid. How are you? Fine. <clears throat> How a little is bit tired. Yeah. Yeah. But you look, you look, you yeah. look like you, you look like you're going to work. No, I have been in a meeting, so I had to put some makeup and dress and and hair my my. I don't know how to say, um, peinarme. <laughs> Calm. <laughs> Calm. Um, here, before, before we have um, Melvin and, and the rest of the class join in, can I ask you a quick question? Yes. Um, when somebody quits voluntarily. Yes. Mm -hmm. From a company. Let's say this person has been there four years four years and a half, what are the benefits, I mean, or what are the, what, what's the procedure there? What should I, the company give him? I think and there is a um, low modification um, from two, more than two years ago. And if you're going to present your resignation, you have to do it uh, 15, uh, with 15 days before. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the 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 business uh, have to recognize their time. Okay. Yeah, and but the time and there is include um, vacations uh, and I don't know how to say aguinaldo. Bonus, Christmas bonus. The, bo the Christmas bonus and and if it is. If the person is going to do it in this during this month, he he, the per, if the person is going to present a resignation, um, for about a, a today, they need to to count a uh, fifteen days. Okay, and uh, when when the company have has to recognize that person, the money. How much is it? I heard it's one minimum salary or it's a complete salary? It's a complete salary per year. Even per if that year. person quits? Yeah, but it's, uh, I don't, uh, because I I don't remember and, and I owe you the, the information uh, because I know that there is a law, but I don't remember where it is. Because uh, I know that the, the time it uh, could be 15 in a month. Okay. And wow. and the, the business uh, has the uh, have the obligation to recognize the time, one year, two years, whatever. And is in and is a salary per year. 
Wow, imagine your classmate um, from Ilopango uh, that he's been working 15 years. 15 yeah. years. Quit, man. <laughs> Quit, <laughs> and, and you're, you're set for life. Man, I have oh. 15 years in my work. <laughs> you have 15 years in your work? Yeah, yeah I, I think I have 16, in fact. Wow. Where, what is the name of your company? Uh, Apex BBDO. Is that is that by La Zona Rosa, kind of San Benito? No, no, it's in uh, Colón Escalón, near the near the Torre Futura. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I've heard of Apex. Mm -hmm. But my best advice that is uh, before uh, whatever the person wants to do uh, is um, visit the Ministerio de Trabajo. This is the better thing. Because they can, uh, they give you the best advice how to can handle that situation. And they help, they help. <clears throat> okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ingrid. Hello, Marvin, Rosa, Hello. Sandra, and Ronnie, you're back. Hello, hey, everybody. Did everyone have a good day today? Yes, it's a great day for me. I don't know, I don't know why today I feel like today is Friday. And, um, and I realize it's not so sad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Let's finish the video we were doing yesterday. We were describing, we we're using adjectives, remember? Yes. Okay, let me see. The adjectives. Adjectives. Yeah, I remember in my 20s, I was. Uh. I was crazy in my 20s. I was outgoing in my 20s. I was shy in my 20s or my 30s. I was outgoing. I was obedient, polite. I was obedient. I was polite. Obedient. Uh, I think in my 30s, I was obedient. Uh, no, I was um, tolerant because I'm, I'm not tolerant anymore. I mean, to to. I'm not tolerant to uncomfortable situations or uncomfortable people. I, I, I don't like, unless they're my boss. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to share my screen. Please tell me if you can see it. This is the video we saw yesterday. We're just gonna do a quick review, okay? Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, right yes. now. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens? In your 20s, how do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. All right, and now we have the, the other video. Regrets, that's what. The, teacher, yes. is, is, uh, is, is. Can you put video? yourself in the following hypothesis? Yes. She, in the video, she said, 20s. It's 20s too. Yeah, 20s, 20s. It's correct. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm, that's no Thank problem. you, teacher. No, you're welcome. Hypothetical situations, write them on our discussion box.
Oh. Well, it's important for you to. Okay, we, we did. Describing yeah. hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. So remember, um, here it's saying about expressing regret. So obviously, it's something in the past. Yes, I should have said yes. <laughs> Ronnie mm -hmm. was, was telling us some interesting stories yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say, I should have or I shouldn't have. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Yeah. I shouldn't have gone to that concert. I shouldn't have um, drunk the last beer. Yeah, I shouldn't have drunk that first beer. You know, like, not just two and that's it. No. Yeah, that is that. yeah. <laughs> okay, and those are regrets. And remember, they don't have to be a dramatical regret, just a normal regret. Yeah. Like, uh, remember, like I told you yesterday, when, when, when you go to Burger King or something, you say, man, combo one, combo two, and then uh, I'll ask for the fish fillet. And then when you eat it, and then you see, I asked for the fish burger, and I see my wife with the hamburger, and I said, man, I should have asked for the hamburger instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are regrets. Now we're going to do um, hypothetical situations. Okay. Hypothetical situations, here's an example. If you see the screen, it says, if I've been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. I've, it's a contraction for the past perfect. If I had been. If I had. Okay, for example, if I had, this is a personal example, if I had been a little smarter when I was young, I would have studied medicine. I like general doctors, they make good money. <laughs> because every patient, how much is like a, an appointment with a doctor, like a, a general? Fifteen twenty dollars. Okay, a pediatrician. My my wife's uh, my my son's pediatrician. My son's doctor. I said, really, man. Okay, every time I go, she has like twenty patients outside. She charges thirty five dollars. Thirty five. Thirty five. Yes, and all she does, all she does is like. To be honest with you, in four minutes, she's finished. But I think she has to act a little more, you know, like to make it more interesting, 15, 20 minutes, because she waits him. She looks, you know, the typical looks at, of course, she studied that much. That I understand. I'm not saying she's bad. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like open your eyes, okay? And then a lot of questions for us. And, okay, no, he's good. All right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, $35, please. Next. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, imagine she sees 10, at least, at least 10 patients a day. That's like $350 a day, like a day. <laughs> so it's easy money, but yes, it was a very big sacrifice, I imagine. So now that's why I said, if I had been more intelligent when I was young, I would have studied medicine. Yes. So that's a hypothetical situation. Okay, can you tell me, um, so this is how it goes. Look, if I had been, and then you give me the situation, and then you end with I would have or I could have. Okay. Or if I hadn't, for example, El Magico Gonzalez, if he hadn't drunk so much in his professional career, he would have been a, a millionaire in this, in this moment, maybe. Maybe he would be in Europe as a trainer or 
like my like Maradona. Okay, but no. Okay, so um, you tell me one, Ronnie. Tell me an, uh, what? Let's let's look at the video yeah. once again and listen to the explanation, and then Ronnie, you give me an example. Okay. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know the way you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Dear, I would have been wasted so much money last year, for example. Okay, so here, here it is, right? Here it is. If I, he, she, we, they had the past participle, I could have or I would have, yes? Um, let me give you an example. If, if, if I have wearing a mask, I, I couldn't got a virus. Okay. If I have, I have worn, worn a mask, mask. If I had worn a mask, I, mask. I didn't. I got, wouldn't. I wouldn't I, got the. No, you could only use could or would here, huh. because this is the hypothetical situation. Huh. But in this case, in this case, Ronnie, you're giving me a, a regret. Uh, but that's okay. This is good too because you say if I hadn't worn a mask. I'm sorry. If I had worn a mask, I wouldn't have gotten COVID. Yes, it's a hypothetic. I don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay, but no, but that, that, that was good. Okay, it was good. Okay, what about, um, give me, let me give you another example. Um, if Hitler's parents would have used protection, <laughs> they wouldn't have made Hitler. <laughs> Yeah, but it is a hypothetical situation. Oh, here's one. If that Chinese person mm. hadn't eaten that bat, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have been infected by the COVID. Okay? Uh, let me see. Rosalena, can you give me an example, please? If I hadn't saved a little money um, when I was younger, I never wouldn't buy my car. Okay, let me see. If I hadn't saved a little Okay, good. Okay, so... Because you started negative, the outcome is positive, right? If I, if I hadn't saved uh, a, little money. a little money when I was young, when I was young, I never couldn't. Okay, um, 
Okay, good. Here, okay. I never would have bought uh -huh. my car. Okay, I keep it the past participle, so it'll be open up the complement. Okay, but I like that. If I hadn't saved money, a little money, when I was young, aquí está diciendo que lo hizo. If I hadn't saved a little money when I was young, I wouldn't have bought a car. All right, good, I like that. That was a good example, thank you, Rosa. Ingrid, excuse me, I have hiccups. Do you know what is hiccups? What? Do you know what is hiccups? No. Hippo. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, give me your hypothetical situation, Ingrid. Well, <laughs> um, if I, if I have been more conscientious about my my self confidence, I will have a I could have a, a I could have had a, a boyfriend, my crush in the university. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, okay, yeah. Oh, very good. <laughs> Love I felt regrets <laughs> until these days. <laughs> Hey, listen to my way. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. You like Frank Sinatra? Yeah. yeah. He's awesome, man. Yeah. All right, I like that example. Ingrid, I'm sorry, can you say it again, please? Hey, um, I, in class, I understand this is kind of, I know it's kind of difficult and easy at the same time because it's kind of like <laughs> the grammatical part. If I if I have been more cons conscientious about my my self confidence, I could have I could have had a boyfriend and my crush in the university. I could have had my crush uh -huh. as a boyfriend. And what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Is he married yes. now? Do you see him? No. Have you ever stalked them on Facebook? Um, no, oh. I haven't. No, I I um searched for him, but I don't know. You can't find him. No, I I I didn't find him. Find him. No, oh, okay. I had a girlfriend that if I would have stayed with her, if I had stayed with her. I could have been in a serious depression in this moment. She was bad. Wow. Yeah, she was very bad. She, she liked, uh, after I found out that she liked to have many boyfriends. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my God. So good thing I never had like children with her or anything. And those are, yeah. I was very shy. Really, you were shy? Okay, so in high school you were very outgoing, but in the university you were shy. I don't know, it, um, or insecure. I think it, I, I was very insecure. Oh, okay, okay. And, and I lost the opportunity. <laughs> did, did, did your crush ever ask you out? And uh, no, because I didn't believe that I, I could have an opportunity with him. It was very crazy. <laughs> oh, man. I see. All right. <laughs> All right, Marvin, give me an example, sir. Yes. Um, for example, if I had... Uh, uh, um, had I had, I had a study, I I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Um, maybe pass or possibly good great. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Can you repeat it again, please? Yes. If I, if I have, uh, if I have um, studied, studied, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't have passed the classes, classes right, in class, also mm -hmm. with grade, not with grade. Uh, the, I don't remember. But you're saying if I had studied, so that means you didn't. Um, or maybe it's, um, if you want to return and have a good grade, right? Or okay, but good. okay, what is the contrary of past? Future. Future. No, no, uh, of past the grade, past, past the exam. The contrary of past? No. Uh, not um, past. Past. Not past, right? Yeah. The contrary would be fail. Oh. Uh, Fail. Okay. And I, and yeah, I, I de hecho, creo que fail ya es una palabra en español. Porque oh. sale en Facebook. Los fails de la TV, de mil, los, los peores fails. Ya, ya quedó como fail. <laughs> so, um, what you're saying here is, um, Marvin, you're saying, if I had studied for the exam, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have failed. It. Yes, I failed it. Okay. Because you failed it, right? And you failed it because you didn't study. Yeah. So that's why, okay, good. So that's why you say, if I had studied for the exam, I, I wouldn't have failed it. I wouldn't, ah, okay. Yeah, it is, that's the yeah. idea, right? Yeah. Yes, because if you say, if I had if I had studied for the exam, I would have passed. Mm -hmm. So that means yeah, you are a super smart person because you didn't study and you passed. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You're like a... Correct. Okay, good. Um, okay, let me see. Um, Sandra, are you there? Oh, who has one? Who has one? Me, Ronnie. <laughs> Go ahead, Ronnie. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Again, again it, the mask is uh, fail. <laughs> if my if my parents had no meat, I would not be here. Okay. Yes, that's true. If my parents my had parents had, um, had um, not yeah. met in this case, I wouldn't have been I'm here. here. I got it. Okay, but listen to this. It says, if my parents, would be the subject, have not met, or let's say if my parents hadn't met, mm -hmm. I, would I wouldn't know. have been here. Okay, okay, that's okay. good, that's good. I remember my mom, she was a chef. And um, I really miss her food, of course. And I really regret never paint. Now I love to cook. But now I just try to remember what she used to do. But um, I never, I never had the, it's a, this is a regret. I should have stayed with her next to her to learn. So how, how can I say this in my situation? This is my situation. My mother was a chef. I love to cook now, but in that time I didn't. My past regret is I should have stayed with her or I should have been next to her when she was cooking. So what is the hypothetical situation? Who can do it for me? You understand my situation, right? No, really, teacher. Can okay, you... sure, sure. Okay, listen to this. Um, true story. My mother was a chef. And um, in that time, I never 
I didn't care. I just loved to eat. But now I love to cook, but I can't remember my mother's recipes. I should have paid attention when I had the chance. That's my password, that's my regret. I should have paid attention when I had the chance. Can you tell me that story in a hypothetical situation? Like in third person? Yeah, you can say you or I, it's okay. Yeah, like if, if you mm -hmm. have been, have, have spent more time with your mother, okay. you would have been a good cook. Right exactly. Now. There, there we go. That's a very good example right there. Yeah. If you would have spent more time with your mother, you would have been a good cook today. Good. Mm -hmm. If you would have spent more time with her, you would have learned. Okay. I have one. If you have been more curious about the recipes, you could have cooked as your mother. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Did you write that? Did uh, you write that? Yeah, I, I need to write to, to no, no, but, my ideas. No, but that was very good. I like that, that, that fluency too. Hey, I like, I like both. Those, those were good. Okay, very good. And I, and I like that, that how my, pat, my regret uh, becomes a hypothetical situation. Let me see. Beatrice, are you there? Yes. Uh, did did you hear Ingrid's problem that she in in I'm going to give you the situation, okay? So you, you yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the situation, and then you give me the hypothetical <laughs> situation. So Ingrid, when she was in 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 the university, her self esteem was low, I guess. Yeah, Ingrid. It was a kind of insecure. Okay. Okay, so um, Beatrice, when, when Ingrid was in, in the university, she was very insecure. Era bien lenta, mejor. <laughs> <laughs> she was slow. Okay, yes. And um, her crush, she had a good opportunity with her crush, but because of her um, self-esteem, she she never went out with him, and she doesn't know what what hap what could have happened. Yes, can you tell me that in a hypothetical situation? Um, if she had, if she had, if she had, um, no, everything in past. If she had, okay. If she had. If she if, if she had been more quickly, she could have a better opportunity. Okay, good, good. But um, the only thing I don't like there is quickly because, okay, um, quick is quick. Yes. So um, in this case, it doesn't go with, with Ingrid's problem. Ingrid's problem is she had been more, can you think of another adjective? If she if had she, been more positive? Yes, if she had been more positive, she would have been. She, she, she could been. She would have been. Uh, or she would have a better opportunity. Okay, good. You never know, she could have been married by now with her crush. <laughs> have a beautiful family and a dog. Three, three children. Three children. <laughs> Miami Two. for vacation. Two children. Yeah. But you never know. We will never know because she. Made, it was a hypothetical. Okay, very good. 
Hey, I like that. I like that because I'm, if, when I give you the situations, I get you thinking. And the, the good thing in here is that you're thinking in English. So that's a good exercise. But sometimes it's so difficult right, to, go things, to things immediately. Yes. Do you know like that? Do you know that? Do you know why a young person is always going to learn, learn quicker than an adult? This is generally speaking, okay? There are exceptions, but do you know why? Maybe because they don't have a problem or more responsibility in the, their brain is busy. Yes, because when you're young, well, first you study, you know, and um, a kid, you know, you finish school, you go to high school, you finish high school, you go to university. So like when you're, I don't know, from five to 25, you are always studying. Yes, that's why when you're 18, you can actually be doing your homework, watching TV, listening to music and checking your phone at the same time. You can multitask because your brain is very active. It's It's been active for the past 20 years like that. And when you, and this is true because I studied this in psychology. When, when you stop the university, now you start to work. Now your brain adapts to a different situation. And like Ronnie says, now you have more responsibilities. You have that, but you stop multitasking a little. Yes. Uh -huh. you, so think, you think in other in other thing. Yes, or like remember you were telling me, I think it was you, that your your job is very monotonous. Yes. It's the yes. same thing, it's the same thing. And when you were studying, it was never like that because you had one class at this hour, then you had another, you had another, you had another. So your brain was used to that, to the multitasking. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why it's very important like to that's why people that learn English or kids when they're when they're like very young, they catch it quicker. And I don't know if if uh, um, another point the stress. Of course. Because yeah. uh, you have a lot of problems in the work, and the focus on your mind is and is, is about solve the problems. Yes, yes. because now yes. now we have responsibilities and obligations. Before, I guess we only had a responsibility. Your only responsibility was to get a good grade and yes. clean your room yes. <laughs> and clean yes. your room. And I still didn't do that. If I had done that, <laughs> if I had done what my mother had told me, no, I'm sure. okay. But uh, sometimes teacher, uh, uh, when we are talking or when we try to speak, in English, we are thinking in Spanish, and we try to translate uh, the expressions or the idea to English. Yeah. And it's different. It is. And you know what? That will never stop. You're always going to do it. Yes. And, but the objective here is to do it less. Or to understand, no, that's in Spanish, but in English, it's not like this. That, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. The, the objective is that you're saying it right. Yes. And, okay, thank you. Let me see, um, Alexander Lopez. Yeah. Hey, Hello. Hello, Peter. Hi. Alexander, I'm going to give you a hypothetical situation. Can you and, and you 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 tell me you you put it for me in a sentence, okay? Okay. Um, okay, no, no, listen to my situation first. Okay, I have one. So uh, I have a girlfriend and um, wow, she's my ex-girlfriend. And, and, and I'm making this up, okay? okay. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend, we broke up like eight months ago. And she told me she was pregnant. And I said, really? Oh, man. Okay. 
So I took responsibility. The problem is when the kid was born, I mean, my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, she's white. Her, her skin is very light, similar to mine. Um, I'm yellow. Look. Oh, it's yours. No, but the baby <laughs> is very, very dark. Really? <laughs> yeah. You okay. the same the song, Soruyo. Soruyo, yes. <laughs> I, I had a Soruyo. So, <laughs> Soruyo. You know, so I look at the baby now and say, hmm. Okay. So what do you think? What do you think I should have done? I say, we need more. I mean, the baby is mine. I, I really want to. I hope my wife is not listening. She she could believe me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I already I already you know recognize the baby as mine as I am the legitimate father. But now I have my doubts. I don't think he's mine because he's black. <laughs> um... And remember, it's my ex girlfriend. So. Yeah, uh, and your best friend is you know, black. <laughs> no, no, that's the problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, give me the, the situation in a hypothetical sentence. Would you, would you um, suggest a uh, best ADM? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, if I uh, do. Uh, Okay, if you, a, okay, now look, look, look at the rules. If, okay, we got that. If you, the subject, if you, have, if you have, uh, okay, one thing, I'm sorry, it's not have, it's past, it's had. Have. Have. Remember once I told you the difference, of what's very important in English is your lips when you speak. Be and, and and that's one thing that we don't use in Spanish. We don't use lips. So if you want to have a, a good accent, you have to learn to use your lips. Because, for example, when we say present is have. Have. See my bottom have. there. In this case, the past of have is had. I, I use no lips. If I had. You use the, the, your tongue. Your tongue, exactly. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry, um, Alexander. What should I have? What should I have done? Oh, okay. Um, if you have, have uh, you? Uh, your test ADM <laughs> uh, for a child uh, is your. Uh, no, no. Okay, hold on. Okay, look, we have if, if you have, then I need a past participle. What do you do with a test? ADM. No, but you take a test. Okay. So what is the past participle of take? Taken. Taken, yes. Take. So if you have taken, is, is you have taken, tape. taken, taken, take, taken, taken, like the movie. I don't know who you are, but I will find you and I will kill you. That's the movie, right? Taken. Yeah. Did you have a taken, uh, ADM? Uh, George, uh, share uh, is yours. I don't know. You would have known if it's yeah. yours. Okay. Um. One thing. What's an ADM? Are they? That's, that's my for. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. I thought. Wow. How do you know those exams? Have you taken? No. In English, it's not ADN. In English, it's DNA. DNA. Oh, okay. DNA. Okay. DNA. So yeah, if you had taken a DNA test, yeah, or a DNA exam, no test. I'm sorry, you would have known if it's yours or not. 
Yeah. Okay. So can you repeat that? If you had taken you if you had taken a DNA exam a DNA exam you would have known you have you would have known you would have known if 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 Kareem is yours Así se llama Kareem. Kareem. Oh, Kareem. <laughs> okay, it's your. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, good. Teacher, okay. It, will, it, it, will, it will be okay if I say if you had asked That's her okay. about mm -hmm. the baby, you would have gotten, gotten the truth? Yes, that's good, good. Or, yeah, yes, exactly. Or you, Or more, you know, like, if you would have made numbers, you would have known. Yes, there are many, many hypothetical situations. That's very good. But remember, that's always, así va la regla siempre. If the subject had past participle, the subject, and could and would have. Yes. Are there any difference if, uh, if I use cool or ghoul? No, in this case, no. It's, it's, that's a good question. It's the same. Okay. What was that, Rosa? Oh, it's a phone. The ringer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. That, that was a good question. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Carla. Hi, Carla. Hi. Hi. Um, something bad happened to me this week. Okay. I found a wallet and the wallet had money and the wallet had the the documents, personal documents. It had the name, the address of the person, but I did not return it. I kept the money and the wallet. It was a nice wallet. But that week I have lost, I have scratched my car. Um, I have lost money. I don't know where my money is. And I forgot my credit card in the ATM machine. And I broke the windows of my car by accident. Do you think it's karma? Yes. So uh, what, 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 what do you think the hypothetical situation here is? If you had returned, returned it, the wallet, if, um, would not have happened the bad things. Okay, good. You said you can say if you had it, if you had returned if the had wallet, returned the wallet, maybe you wouldn't have had those problems. Maybe you wouldn't have had those problems. Yes, good. Very good. Uh, Doris. Hello, Doris. Okay, Doris is not here today. Let me see. It's, um, who? Who haven't I asked yet? Okay, I'm going to say one hypothetical situation and you tell me what you think, all right? Um, my friend, his grandma, his grandmother died of COVID. My, and this is, this is not true, of course, but I saw, I saw a, a commercial, a TV commercial. And it was very interesting. It was this person, he was in a party, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then his, he receives a phone call from his mother. That, Have you seen that commercial? Yeah. Man, I almost cried. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. It was, yeah, it was sad. But this, so I'm going to imagine. So my friend's grandmother got COVID, and she's very, very sick because she's very old. 
And my friend is devastated because he loves his grandmother and he saw her well, like two weeks ago. And nobody can explain what happened to, to the grandmother because everybody in the family, they take precautions, except my friend because he likes to go out and party every weekend. So what do you think? O sea, estoy dando a entender que fue culpa de Michelo por andar saliendo, sí. quizás él infectó. So what do you think? If your friend ha, uh, go you. Dale, ready. <laughs> go you. You. Okay. Um, if he had been more, um, how do you say, uh, more uh, careful. Careful? Um, he could have his grandma with him. Okay. But he can have his grandma with him. Okay. Okay, good. That's that's one that's one possible. Good grammatically is correct too. Can you think of another one? Ronnie, what was yours? Me teacher. If your friend had taken precaution, uh, he could have killed. <laughs> Her grandma. <laughs> Dude, she's not dead yet. She's sick. He's not a <laughs> infected. He, his grandmother. Okay, good. But you see, you, you, if my friend hadn't, hadn't, or take, if he had, if okay, I'm sorry, if he had taken, taking, okay, taking uh, precautions, precautions, he. He would have infected her. He wouldn't have. Mother. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't okay. have. Remember he one thing. Have. Remember one thing. If you start negative, you finish positive. If you start positive, you finish negative. Okay. Oh. But you can't start negative I, and finish negative. I, I start positive. Yes. So in this case, if my friend had taken precautions, he wouldn't. He, would, he wouldn't infect her. His grandmother. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Nice. Uh, Alex Hybrid. Hi. Hi. Hybrid. According to the Bible. Jesus. <laughs> yes. According to the Bible, what did Eve do, and that's why we are suffering in the world. Uh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> if, if, um, if, uh -huh. if, um, okay. How do you say the name? Eve? Eve. Eve. Okay, Eve. If Eve had a eaten. Eaten. Eaten, thank you. Eaten. Why, in this case, did she eat or bite? Or she ate the computer apple? We don't know. <laughs> okay, 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 let's let's stay with eaten, okay? Eaten, the, the apple. The humanity will have a different context. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you know, many people say, man, if Eve hadn't eaten that apple, we wouldn't have been suffering right now. We would have been eating from the clouds. Like in the Atalayas. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like, like in the... Have you seen those, those pictures? <laughs> they, they're called watchtowers. Yeah. And then, Watch, yeah. Yeah. The, uh -huh. yeah, like you see a family sitting next to a giraffe, like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that was a good hypothetical situation right there. Um, Okay, uh, let me let, let me think of the last one before we leave. Let me see. Uh, 
I sold the car. I wanted $5,000 for my car. And one client offered me $4,700. And I said, no way, no way. After that, I didn't get any more clients. All the clients were just offering me 4,000, 3,500. So I ended up selling my car in $3,800. <sighs> if you had sold if you uh, had if you had sold the the car to the first man <laughs> client uh -huh. uh, client you could you, you would could, have uh, you would you would have um the money more money yeah, mm -hmm. you would have gotten more money have because gotten more money. Yeah, remember we need a verb. Yes. Yeah. So yes, okay, that's good. If you would have accepted the first offer, you would have gotten the a good deal. That's another hy hypothetical question. If you hadn't, también negativo. If you hadn't rejected that offer. Hoy se va a terminar positivo. You would have had a good deal. You would have had the money. Okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. So, Ingrid, if you would have said yes, maybe you could have been married by now, yes? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? But maybe not. But I will try. There's a saying, I think there's a saying that I've seen it in Spanish, but in English, it would be something like, what is worse? Not doing something or regretting regretting not ever doing it. I think not, not doing something. Yeah, you know, like when you say, like, yeah, like in an English situation, like, uh, what is worse? Like, not knowing what would have happened or regretting not ever doing it, you know. And so it's true, it's true. Okay, class. Thank you very much. You have a good night, okay? Thank you. I know I know this was this was um kind of like I told you, it was kind of difficult and easy at the same time. But if you want to practice, I está la coma. You see the comma right there? Practice. Yeah. So before the comma, it has to be either positive or negative. If you start positive, after the comma, you finish negative. Or vice versa. Vice versa, yeah. Okay? Have a very good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.